All right, hello again. He's still here. <laughs> um, we're gonna work on some tilts for one of our skills today. Um, I want you guys to really focus on uh, stacking your hips for the tilt. I would highly suggest you start holding onto a chair or a couch or a table or a counter or something like that, just so you can um, find the positioning and then we can work uh, to have nothing to hold onto. Um, make sure that you're stretched uh, before you start this. Make sure you stretch your hips, you stretch your legs, all that good stuff. Uh, just don't start this without stretching. Um, okay, so I'm gonna hold on to this garage door, <laughs> but you can hold on to something a little more um, sturdy. Uh, I want you guys to just start with going half up. So we're actually gonna start from a uh, first position and then going into a coupe and then going into passe, keeping your hips squared off. And then we're gonna go into a half tilt, trying to bring your knee close to your armpit, okay? Um, depending on your flexibility, it might be a little more forward, which is totally fine. Um, I just want you guys to think about this uh, left hip. I'll do the other side for you so we can do the right. Um, the right hip going on top of the left hip. So it's totally making like a stack uh, going straight up. If that top hip gets a little bit off, you're gonna create like an injury or something um, strange in that hip that's gonna create more problems. Plus it won't look as good, okay? So the, the better we can stack that, and then you can work on the flexibility after that gets stacked if the flexibility isn't that great for you, which is okay. Um, so again, we're gonna go from first, we're gonna go coupe, make sure we're going through all these positions. Um, it really doesn't work to just stick it up there, but we're gonna go coupe passe, keeping the hip squared, and then we're gonna slightly turn out that bottom leg a little bit more that knee is going to go towards your armpit and my booty is sticking toward that back corner so I'm kind of sticking out my booty a little bit so that you can get that hip to stack um, again that knee might be a little more forward for you and that's totally okay but we're, we're working on getting that knee close this way and not that way all right so the knee is working to go straight toward your armpit or toward the ceiling around this general area so let's do four like that so we're gonna go from first um, hold on to something if you feel really comfortable you don't have to hold on to something but excuse me I would just highly suggest that you do just so we can work on the the place all right so starting nice and tall first position we go coupe we go passe we go turn out and then stack that hip knee comes up towards your armpit or to your shoulder okay stick out the booty um, arms can go down for now we can always go like this, but don't worry about that right now. Just keep the arm down close to your butt, okay? Three more times. Six, seven, and coupe, passe, and stack and stack and stack. So as I turn out that bottom leg, um, I stick my booty out, knee comes up. Again like that. Five, six, seven, eight, coupe, passe, keep it down. Now we turn out, 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 out. Five, six, seven, and coupe, Passe, and up and up and up and up. Yeah? Um, I would suggest, too, looking at yourself in a mirror or filming yourself just so you can see if those hips are stacked. It's one thing to kind of feel it, but if you can really see it, it'll make all the difference. Let's do the other side. Here we go. First position. We'll go nice and slow to start. We go coupe front. Hips are squared. Passe. Hips are still squared. Now we slowly turn out. Stick that booty toward that back corner. Knee comes toward your chest. Ugh, you should feel that really squeeze in that back booty. Again, five, six, seven, and coupe, passe, hips are squared, turn, go, go, go. Yeah, keep that bottom leg straight as well. Five, six, seven, and coupe, passe, and turning up and up and up. Last one. Ooh, it's also really important that we drop that shoulder. Watch out, you don't look like this. <laughs> it's easy to kind of stay tight in this upper body. So don't let that happen, really drop that shoulder. Think about um, opposition. This part is pulling down and this part is pulling up. Think like you're getting pulled in two directions. If you think about that, it'll help you balance. Last one, six, seven, and coupe, passe, and up and up and up and up. Yeah, you wanna try to make a straight line from that knee all the way to the bottom of the other foot. Ooh. All right, <laughs> shake it out, stretch out your booty. All right, we're gonna go for the full tilt. Yeah. <laughs> So holding on to something, probably the best idea. First position, 
coupe, passe, I'm still squared. And then we start to turn out. Okay, we're in that half Z tilt. Now take that leg all the way up. You can hold on to it for now if you wanna see if that helps you out. And then once you get it up there, see if you can pull back up toward behind you back here, okay? So again, you get that half tilt, this is my leg. You get that half tilt all the way up and then you stretch from there. Watch out that you're not going like this and then stretching and then trying to pull it up more. You have to get the half tilt full before you take the rest of your leg, okay? Let's try it. Um, try it one more time holding onto your leg and then we'll try it with no holding. Hold it. Sorry, haven't done these in a while. <laughs> First position, six, seven, and coupe, passe, half Z tilt, stick out that bottom, and go extend, 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 extend. Really sit toward the back. Watch how you're not staying too far though. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Good. Two more, let's try not to hold it this time. If you feel comfortable too, you can come away from whatever you're holding on to. Just make sure that um, you're stacking your hips, okay? I feel like this is a, a major, not issue, but a major thing we have to work on for most of you. And I think once you find that stack, it'll be so much easier than trying to struggle with it out there. All right, two more times. Five, six with the right, seven, and coupe, passe, and go, 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 go. Good, two more. Five, six, or sorry, one more. Five, six, seven, and coupe, passe, and half and full and full and full. Cool, check it out. Cool. <laughs> All right, other side, first position, we'll go holding onto it. Five, six, seven, and coupe, passe, and half, and full. Good, now see if you can pull that leg back a little bit more. Try again, just like that. Five, six, seven, and coupe, passe, and half Z. Now full, 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 full. Good. Again, if your leg is forward, that's totally okay. See if you can start pulling it a little bit more, a little bit more every time. All right, this side might not be as good because it's the left. It's my right, but it's your left. All right, here we go. La, two more times. Five, six, seven, go coupe, Passe, have Z, no hand. Take it up, take it up, take it up. Good, Ooh, shake it out. And last time. Again, if you want to step away from whatever you're holding on to, by all means, try. Last one, five, six, seven, and coupe, passe, hips are squared. Now you take it up and full tilt, full, 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 full. and come on down. Good, shake it out. So that's probably all we're gonna do for that today. Um, I would suggest doing it more than one time. So maybe try this a couple times during the week. Uh, once you get that tilt too with no arms or not holding onto anything, see if you can really work on pulling it back over. Okay, watch out that you're just not getting up there and then you're dropping it down. <laughs> really work on um, pull, getting yourself to stand back up as smooth as possible. All right, so that's your tilt. Thank you guys, good job.